The second button on our main page is our preparation button. This is where we go if we'd like to see the nest of what we've burned. The basic layout is the same. Everything can be adjusted just like on the input screen, up and down. You can close your browser if you'd like to get a larger picture. You can open up windows for bigger display. There are buttons such as toggle full screen, which if you click right here, it'll open up the nest so you can see it very large, or you can bring it back down. There are three sections to the nesting. The nest, which means all the stuff going to be burned on plasma. We have the export, which is the information for all of the stuff we're going to send to coil. And if we're using a spiral machine, which can be driven by Practicam, here's where we'll get the information on what we're sending out to the spiral machine. We're going to focus on the nest because this is what you'll be using about 90% of the time. Here you will see that we have a high and low quality. It is recommended always to keep the quality on high because Practicam will obviously nest it in the most efficient pattern possibly. However, if you would like a much faster nest or if you feel the need to lay out as if you were to put pieces on blanks, as if you were drafting. In other words, each piece would be laid out. You can come over here to low quality and you can click on your icon, automatic nest or renet. Here you can see how Practicam will lay out the exact same fitting if you keep it on low quality. It is obvious better to put it on high quality and then hit re-nest. We will move it over to high quality and we once again hit the button re-nest or automatic. Here we can see the pieces have been re-nested to the most efficient pattern possible. Over here you will notice we have boxes for metal, liner and insulation. Essentially whatever we have checked is what we will nest. If we do not want to nest metal, we can keep it unchecked. If we do want to nest metal, we keep it checked. If we'd like to nest liner or insulation, we can keep these buttons checked if we'd like. For liner and insulation, we'll both have the choice if you would like it to be symmetrical. What this means is that if this is checked, the first sheet will have metal and it will lay in the sheet a specific way. The liner will lay exactly on the second sheet, identical to the metal on the first sheet. This way they look the same if you're looking at a label or just looking at the design of the layouts. However, if you prefer for the metal to nest one way and the liner to just nest in the most efficient pattern possible, regardless of how the metal was nested, you can click on the button sequential. This will work for liner or insulation. Another feature you see here is a material type. It is important to know that when you are working with Practicam, inside a takeoff screen that you must have whether or not you're going to work with sheet or coil. If we have sheet checked here, it is important that right here in our takeoff on our metal stock name, we have a sheet stock selected. If we have one as a sheet stock selected here and in our nesting screen we have a coil stock selected, it will put everything into the scrap just like this. You'll notice here that since we had selected coil in the takeoff screen and the material type is sheet, the Practicam has put all of our pieces into the scrap inventory. Make sure that when you're working in the takeoff that they are consistent. If we would like this to be nested for coil, of course, and it says coil in the takeoff screen, by switching it to coil and clicking on re-nest, we can get the exact nest for coil we need. Here we have nested for coil, so if we click on the second sheet, you can see that Practicam has cut it off and nested it for basically the length only. We cut off all the extra scrap here. So we've got coil selected here and coil selected on our takeoff screen. 